folks, my name is Rohan and I'm a product manager on the Advanced Roadmaps team. I'd like to show you how Agile teams use Advanced Roadmaps to plan and track work and show you our new and upcoming features. I thought I'd start with a quick recap of how we think about the problems we're trying to solve with Advanced Roadmaps. We've heard from our customers that there are three main needs that arise as organizations try to scale Agile. First, they need to be able to easily plan and track across multiple teams and align their team's work up to higher level initiatives to map work to business strategy. They need to track these projects, monitoring them to quickly identify when they're off track and respond quickly. And finally, they need to report on progress to a variety of stakeholders, both within the teams and outside the teams. Advanced Roadmaps is designed to help you overcome these challenges while still embracing core agile concepts. With the ability to plan, track, and report off a single source of truth, teams can stay aligned on shared goals, maintain visibility of work in progress, and respond quickly to changes while keeping dependencies and capacity in mind. Now let's dive into some demos. Advanced Roadmaps is great for combining work that's been created by multiple teams or planning a project from scratch. The free and standard editions of Jira software allow issues up to the Epic level. With Jira Software Premium, you can create as many levels as you like above Epic. This comes in handy when teams are working in different projects that contribute to a larger program. You can create a level above to group them. And for larger projects that need to be broken down further or connected to company goals and strategies, you can create even more levels above as needed. Then you can pull all their work together in advanced roadmaps. You can select from multiple sources to pull issues from, whether they're selected projects, boards, or your own custom JQL query. Advanced Roadmaps will show you all your issues in the scope table, structured in nested hierarchy. Right now, we're seeing all issues from the top level down to subtasks. In this scenario, we're using the initiative level to group epics across multiple teams and projects. You can also create your project from the ground up from within Advanced Roadmaps. Create issues, drag and drop to rank, and also structure the levels. All of the changes you make in your advanced roadmap are in a sandbox. It's great for visualizing different scenarios and modeling impact. Review changes and save when you're ready. Next, we'll take a look at how you can track an in-flight project with advanced roadmaps. Now that we have a plan, the one thing we can be sure will happen is it will go off track. Advanced roadmaps has powerful features to help you track the progress of your projects and identify issues early to prevent you from veering off course. The field section is where you have access to view and edit most of your issue data, as well as have visibility over the status and progress of in-flight work. This information will automatically update to reflect each issue change in real time, meaning your plans stay up to date without constant maintenance. Fields can be added and removed for when you need access to them. We support a wide range of custom fields as well. Over here, you can see an assignee, due dates, and a label to represent a strategic theme. As teams progress with a project, issues assigned to sprints are automatically set to the length of the sprint, which will be updated in your advanced roadmap, saving you having to manually enter start net dates for every issue. There are many smarts to assist you with your planning. In this example, Advanced Roadmaps has identified that the expected completion date for ADR22 extends beyond our projected release date, so a red icon is shown. Advanced Roadmaps gives you the flexibility of easily moving between high-level views and drilling into the details. As a program leader, you might want to just see the epic level and above for the bird's eye view of your program, but you can also drill down to a single epic to get a deeper understanding of how things are going there. Your roadmap has a filter dropdown, which you can use to find and isolate issues based on issue properties like releases, teams, and projects. In this example, we've filtered for the basic trip booking epic. Only this epic and its children will appear on the roadmap. Now, modern, time, modern agile teams need to account for their team's capacity to set a feasible timeline, and of course, to stay happy. Advanced Roadmaps has smart capacity planning features built in. It shows you when your planned work exceeds your team's capacity, so you can identify when your teams might be overloaded and adjust accordingly. 
we can see here that iOS Sprint 2 has a capacity problem as it's turned red. One large issue is 15 story points and has blown out the capacity. We can easily move that issue to the next sprint, iOS Sprint 3, and now the load is balanced across two sprints. Advanced roadmaps updated in real time. The roadmap reflects the calculation of what sprints an issue will be scheduled in, the size of the estimates on the issues, and the velocity of the team assigned to complete issues. You can look at your team's historical sprints to get an accurate estimate of your team's real velocity. There are some powerful features built in here to help you plan effectively. You can set certain sprints to lower capacity to plan for team holidays, training, or other commitments for the team. There are also scenario modeling features, which help you visualize the impact of different team velocities. Whether it's due to capacity constraints or specialization, you'll need to manage dependencies across your project. Advanced Roadmaps has multiple out-of-the-box dependency views to help you keep your project on track. The dependency report shown here provides a full map of all your dependencies and smartly displays any dependencies that aren't scheduled to be ready on time. There's also the dependencies management view on the roadmap. It provides a filter of projects that have dependencies. The lines show work items connected by dependencies. Hovering shows the lead time between the work items and any that aren't scheduled to be ready on time are illuminated in red helping you stay on top of the risk to your project. Here we can see that this issue is scheduled to be completed three days after another issue that is dependent on its schedule to start. I've shown you a lot of views for slicing, dicing, and grouping your project data. Now I'm going to show you how Advanced Roadmaps eases your reporting burden. First of all, Advanced Roadmaps will automatically pull in the dates from child issues and sprints to populate the roadmap. We've recently introduced horizontal scrolling to make it easier for you to navigate your roadmap. There's also the option to control the fidelity of your timeline based on the size of your project. You have the choice of weeks, months, quarters, and years for your increments in the filter at the bottom right of the screen. If we choose the custom range option, we get even more flexibility. For example, you can set your roadmap to always show two weeks into the past and six months into the future. This is very useful for sharing your roadmap so that it always shows a relevant window of time. Advanced Roadmaps comes in with a heap of built-in features for managing the reporting needs of your project, keeping all your stakeholders informed without needing to spend hours exporting and transforming data in spreadsheets and manually input, inputting it into presentation slides. First of all, there's the Confluence macro. Confluence pages can display a live view of an advanced roadmap. It's ideal for your stakeholders to stay up to date without needing to go into Jira. You can embed it into a page through an iframe. And now off the back of customer requests, you can also export your roadmap as a PNG. Customers use this feature for email updates and inserting it into slide presentations. And that's how you can use advanced roadmaps. With these powerful features, you'll be able to plan, track, and report of a single source of truth, keep teams aligned on shared goals, maintain visibility of work in progress, and respond quickly to changes while keeping dependencies and capacity in mind. Advanced Roadmaps is one of our most popular features in Jura, and we're constantly improving it to make it more useful for our customers. I'm excited to share that soon we will be supporting team-managed projects and advanced roadmaps. Customers are increasingly using team-managed projects to give teams the flexibility to set up their own projects and run them as they see fit. Soon you'll be able to pull them all together in a single advanced roadmap and use all the powerful planning and tracking reporting features it brings. We'll also be supporting flexible issue hierarchy naming. For those who are practicing the scaled agile framework, SAFE, this allows you to configure the SAFE issue hierarchy natively in Jira. This also works well for non-software teams who want the powerful planning and tracking features of advanced roadmaps without the software-centric terminology. If you like what you heard in this demo and would like to test out advanced roadmaps for yourself, simply go to our website and start a free trial of Jira Software Premium. If you're attending our in-person experience in Las Vegas, feel free to, come to visit our booth on the Explo 4 to learn more. Thank you.